Welcome to my channel. Now, what I want to do is give you a little intro to the next set of videos coming up. And um, as I mentioned before, uh, what I'm in the process of doing is uh, sort of walking around the city and trying to find areas, locations, walls, basically, where we can continue our work for the language of mathematics and math in real life, continue building that content. And um, where, I, where I am right now, um, and the city, the neighborhood, uh, basically, there's a lot of fruit trees uh, in the city. So what I've been doing is, while I'm walking around or riding my bike or whatnot, um, when I see fruit trees, if I feel like taking a break, basically what I'm doing is sort of hanging around and picking fruits and eating fruits. May they be plums, apples, pears, whatever they may be, right? And this one location I was at, um, and there were mulberry trees there. So I was munching on mulberries and another person joined me and uh, you know, we're munching on mulberries together. There's a lot of mulberries on this tree. And we got to talking and he told me about a crab apple tree that he had come across and he gave me directions. So I made my way to the crab apple tree and it was magnificent. It's a huge crab apple tree and there's tons of crab apples on it. So what I ended up doing is uh, coming back home, uh, grabbing a bucket and some um, sacks and stuff. And I drove to the crab apple tree and I picked crab apples for an hour, hour and a half or so. And I came home with a whole bunch of crab apples and uh, decided to make crab apple butter because that's one thing we did last year was make some crab apple butter. And it was fantastic. And we were down to our, we found one more, um, you know, 125 mil jar that was hanging around, but we basically uh, finished all the crab apples made last year. So I was really happy to come across this crab apple tree, right? Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is give you the lowdown of the videos coming up of, uh, of uh, you know, what I ended up doing regarding these crab apples, okay? So let me, let me tell you the, for those of you that wanna know the recipe, uh, what I use to make crab apples or how I make crab apples. Uh, let me give you the ratios, okay? And the videos basically run you through, um, you know, the process of how I ended up doing it. But basically the ratio is this. I take um, five pounds of crab apple to one and a half pounds of cane sugar, organic cane sugar, to one, 1 1.5 to two, uh, uh, small lemons, lemon juice squeezed in there, and half a cup to three quarters of a cup of uh, water in the pot per five pound, uh, four and a half to five pound, four to five pound um, pot of crab apples, right? So the ratio is five pounds of crab apples to one and a half pounds of cane sugar, organic cane sugar, to one, one and a half to two small lemons squished in there with the seeds, obviously, you know, you remove the seeds, you don't let the seeds and the pulp get in there. And half a cup to three quarters of a cup of lemon juice. Okay, that's the recipe. Now the process is this. And for the process initially, um, what I was going to do was I was just going to make an ASMR video of me cleaning the crab apples. But basically what I ended up doing is shooting a video for the whole process, right? Once I started on this thing, I just had to get it done, right? It, it, it needed to be done. So basically the videos coming up are this, and this is, this is going to walk you through the process of how to make crab apple spread or crab apple butter. Okay. Uh, the first two videos coming up are going to be cleaning the crab apples because what what, you, what I end up doing is um, basically taking the crab apples and cutting off the stems and because none of the stuff is sprayed and we didn't buy the crab apples in the store there's some crab apples that had you know bugs and bugs in them worms in them stuff like that so basically going through the crab apples and cleaning it right getting it ready to cook so one of the videos the cleaning video is basically a view top view of um, all the crab apples I ended up picking, which was basically three, one big bucket and, well, it was two big buckets, but basically uh, the video is uh, one big bucket, one medium bowl, um, pot and a 10 pound bucket. 
okay? Then uh, the big bucket is like a 20 pound bucket. Uh, the second cleaning video is um, a closer up view of uh, just one um, of the pot and cleaning one bowl of uh, crab apples, okay? And those two videos are basically, it came out to 10 pounds of crab apples being, um, being cleaned. And I cooked those 10 pounds of crab apples into two separate pots, okay? So the first two videos coming up is clean the crab apples. The third video coming up is me in the kitchen running you through the process of um, the cook process, basically, what I end up doing, what the ratios are, what the recipe is, and the recipe changed according, um, you know, I started off with two to one ratio, but it kicked down into five to 1.5. Okay, five pounds of crab apple to 1.5 pounds of sugar. Okay, and we'll go through that. You'll see how I sort of adjusted the recipe according to, um, you know, the ingredients I had and what it looked like, what it smelled like, what it felt like to me to do, and it came out pretty good. Okay, so the third video is going to be me in the kitchen running you through the whole process of uh, what I do to cook the crab apples okay and there's a little bit of washing crab apples uh, in there as well um, the fourth video coming up is a top view of uh, cooking the crab apples and watching the crab apples become heated and sort of break down because what happens with crab apples is um, when you start cooking them um, once they reach a certain temperature through the cooking process they sort of break down and sort of become like you know turn into like paste basically okay if you didn't know if it was crab apples you would think it was tomato paste right so and that video is long because it takes um, anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour and a half hour and 15 minutes for the crab apples to break down and what i end up doing is really stirring the crab apples a lot and stirring the bottom of the pot um, you have to make sure you stir the bottom of the pot um, because you know there's uh, there's sugar there so you don't want the bottom of, of the pot to burn okay um, so that's the fourth video coming up the fifth video coming up is again me in the kitchen showing you the jarring process what I end up doing to jar the crab apple and to, to make this video, basically, usually when I um, make preserves or make jam or whatnot, uh, I do the whole thing in one day. But because I wanted to make videos for this whole thing, um, and it was getting uh, later in the evening, I was losing the light. So what I ended up doing is leaving the crab apples in the pots and coming back the next day to do the jarring process. But in general, you really don't want to do that. You want to do the drawing process in the same day that you're doing the cook because it, it's easier because the stuff is heated. And, you know, everything's already messy. You're already in the kitchen. So it makes life a little bit easier if you do everything in one day. But I ended up doing it the second day, okay? So the I guess the fifth video is uh, me in the kitchen jarring the, jarring the crab apples and I run you through the process of what I usually end up doing uh, when I'm jarring, which is basically um, I take the cooked crab apples and I mill them. I get rid of the pulp and the seeds and there's a video of sort of milling the crab apples and I might load that up separately uh, and I think I will because uh, all of this stuff is sort of going to be ASMR-ish, ASMR format-ish, really chill. Uh, but the milling, because it's, you know, sort of wobbly uh the sounds might not be relaxing so i'm probably going to load that up as a separate video so that could be 5b either 5a or 5b or i might put it together so there's a milling uh video as well where i use a mill to um, get rid of the pulp and the seeds for this okay um and in that um jarring video we basically only jar one crab apple because I wanted to show you, um, we jarred a 250, uh, 500 mil crab apple because I wanted to show you um, what the sound was so you could hear it and see the process. And then the following video, I basically do a closer up and we ended up jarring um, 
all of the 500 ml jars that we did because I ended up doing two separate cooks for this. Uh, I ended up having, you know, all in all ended up being approximately 20 pounds of crab apples. So in the first cook, I had two pots going, each one had five pounds. So in the first cook that we did the shoot for, uh, there's 10 pounds of crab apples that were cooking. Okay, approximately 10 pounds anyway. So um, in the second jarring video, it's sort of a close up of showing, you know, jarring the whole thing because I wanted to show you the whole process um, of jarring everything, okay? And that should be it. I might load on another video, um, uh, just the washing video or the milling video, like I mentioned. But we'll, we'll see. It's going to be anywhere between six to seven videos uh, coming up of uh, making crab apple butter, uh, crab apple spread. Okay. Um, and basically, um, the 20 pounds of crab apples uh, that I ended up getting, approximately 20 pounds, I ended up getting um, about 31 jars of uh, 125 milliliter. Um, um, jars of crab apple, uh, crab apple paste, crab apple butter, and these are amazing for gifts. We give these uh, gifts to people, and once you see this whole process, uh, it people love this because you really it's hard to buy crab apple uh, butter in stores, and it's very expensive. And there's a reason for it. There's a whole process ritual involved with it. So there's 31 jars of, and all these are 30. Uh, these are the 20, uh, 125 mil. I ended up getting uh, five, I think we only got five of the, sorry, 125 mil. And we got five jars of uh, 250 mil, so double these guys, right? So five jars of 250 mil, and we ended up getting about 12 jars of 500 mil uh, crab apple. Okay, so 12 of these guys. So that's approximately 20 pounds of crab apples. And one other thing I wanted to mention as well is through the milling process, you end up getting a lot of um, pulp out, right? The seeds and all the pulp of the crab apples. And I don't throw those away. What I end up doing is for those is basically taking all the pulp, putting it in a big jar and filling it with water okay and basically this becomes crab apple uh, drink okay it's not very sweet but it has that delicious crab apple taste okay and this thing you know we end up using we refill we drink this and then refill drink refill refill and this thing lasts in our fridge for like at least a month and it's amazing during the summer, during a hot day, you come back and you pour yourself some crab apple uh, juice drink, and it's so refreshing. And you know, there's a little bit of pulp that floats on there. So, you know, sometimes we use a screen to, if we don't want the pulp for me, I, I don't care, I just drink it with the pulp. But if you don't want the pulp, you can use a screen and just pour the, pour the juice through the screen and that catches all the pulp. And then when the water, goes down and then you just fill it up again and you know mix it around a little bit so you know all the flavor comes up into the into the water and then just let it settle on the pulp slowly settle so you don't shake this up too much okay and that's uh basically um the next set of videos coming up which is um how to make crab apple butter how to make crab apple spread um and it's fantastic and it's super delicious and amazing um and um i think we're gonna hit this crab apple tree every year uh because it's huge and it gives a lot of crab apples and we basically ran out of uh last year when we made it we made about uh, it was about half as this amount and we went through all of it we only had you know i found one more 125 mil uh jar left and we basically went through half of it. Um, we got about half the amount last year and went through it within six months, seven months. So hopefully this is gonna last us all year and we can give a lot of presents to people. Um, 
a lot of crab apple 250 mil crab apple um, and just um, the last thing with the last part of you know finishing the process is basically uh, you know when everything's sealed up uh, what you want to do is uh, go through and I think I did did it with most of these um, you go through and sort of oh, this one's loose so you go through and tighten up the seals uh, the lids for all of these and some of these that's right so most of these sealed up right they go pop 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 seal right but there are some as you can tell didn't seal up because you know we had lids left over that we ended up reusing some of the lids so some of these lids no that one sealed up i think there's a couple here i think one or two of the big ones didn't seal up and i think there's like three of the little guys 125 and one which one is oh this one one uh, 250 mil didn't seal up okay so what i'm going to end up doing with these is i'm going to try it out i'm going to use a double pot method boiling water and put these in there um and boil water to see if it will seal up if it doesn't i'm gonna take the ones that didn't seal up put them in a pot heat them up and throw away the lids and then bring in fresh lids and seal them up that way and you know reheat the jars basically jarring video that we're gonna load up okay um, after all these videos are done I finish editing after they're done we're gonna hop on to uh, uh, the math videos the language of mathematics and math in real life and take you know continue that series um, series uh, 4b for the language of mathematics and continue making videos uh, for math in real life um at least until mid fall okay i'm gonna try to go as long as i can because uh um this thing delayed me a little bit uh, but it needed to be done okay i hope you enjoy the videos coming up bye for now